This is the reading for Lesson 15.10, What Do Entrepreneurs Do? Have you ever been paid for washing a car or mowing your lawn? Have you ever babysat young children? If so, you have a good idea of what an entrepreneur does. An entrepreneur is someone who provides a product or service for someone else for money. Entrepreneurs are engaged in entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the process of running a business of one's own. The United States has many small businesses. Young people have created some of these businesses. Some young people operate their businesses for only a short time. Others start a small business as a teenager and grow it into a larger business. Their business may help them shape their career. But what makes someone an entrepreneur? How have entrepreneurs changed history? How do entrepreneurs affect the economy today? Entrepreneurs come from all types of backgrounds. People of all ages choose to become entrepreneurs. They create many kinds of businesses. Some may start a pool cleaning service or a desktop publishing business. Others may create handcrafted jewelry or offer a shoe and boot cleaning service. Some entrepreneurs may own huge construction companies. Others may own tiny craft shops. Entrepreneurs try to identify what customers need. They then meet those needs by offering a product or service. When they succeed, their businesses do well and they make money. When they fail, their companies do not make enough money to pay their bills. They have to go out of business. Employees and Entrepreneurs Entrepreneurs are willing to take chances to try to create a successful business. Entrepreneurs are different from employees. Employees are people who work for someone else. Both may make decisions, but only entrepreneurs are responsible for what happens in the business because of the decisions they make. Mike Jones manages a video, coast, er, a video store owned by Philippe Santiago. Mike decides to keep the store open until midnight during the week. He thinks the additional hours will bring in customers and increase profits. If Mike's idea works, Philippe will be happy. He may even give Mike a raise in pay. Mike will not directly receive any of the additional money that is made because he is only an employee. The additional earnings will go to Philippe because he's the owner. So why do people become entrepreneurs? People become entrepreneurs for many reasons. Adults may want to leave the business world because they have to travel. They may not like spending a lot of time away from home. Some want to be at home but still earn an income. Others want to do something they have dreamed about doing for a long time. The reason you might become an entrepreneur may be different. Some of the reasons that young people go into business are to be their own boss, to earn lots of money, to use their skills and abilities, to meet a challenge, to help their community or provide jobs for others, and to build security for their family. These are all good reasons to start a business. Some of these will not be as easy to achieve as you might think. Your hard work will pay off because there are many rewards for entrepreneurs. Types of entrepreneurial business. Entrepreneurs can choose the types of business they open. The different types of business include manufacturing, wholesaling, retailing, and service businesses. A manufacturing business makes the product it sells. Companies are manufactured, or computers are manufactured by companies like IBM, Gateway, Toshiba, Dell, and Apple. Many manufacturers sell the products they make to a wholesaling business. The wholesaling business sells the product it buys to someone else. For example, IBM might sell computers to a wholesaler. The wholesaler pays less for the product than the final customer pr price. The wholesaler will sell the computers to your local computer store. The computer store will pay the wholesaler a higher price than the wholesaler paid the manufacturer. Your local computer store is a retailing business. It will sell the computers directly to you or other customers. You will be the final user of the computer. You will pay the retailer more for the computers than the retailer paid to the wholesaler. Service businesses sell services rather than products. Examples of service businesses include lawn mowing services and hair and nail salons. The chart above shows different examples of the four types of businesses. Take a look at that chart and think about how these businesses exist in your neighborhood. Other business areas. Two other types of businesses are one, agricultural, and two, mining and extracting businesses. Agricultural businesses provide fresh produce and other farm products like wheat. Mining and extracting businesses take resources such as coal out of the ground so that they can be used <clears throat> Entrepreneurs in U.S. History
During the colonial years, entrepreneurship grew. Entrepreneurs raised crops like rice and tobacco. They also worked as bankers, silversmiths, candle makers, and merchants that traded and sold goods and services. After the American Revolution, the United States began to industrialize. Entrepreneurs invented machines that helped workers do their jobs faster and better and helped the economy grow. Entrepreneurs who changed America. Entrepreneurs change American business decade after decade. They start with the ideas that might grow into huge companies. They constantly change how things are done. They contribute to the good of the nation. 19th century entrepreneurs. In 1831, Cyrus McCormick used a machine called the Reaper to gather crops. The Reaper gave the United States economy a major boost. McCormick went to Chicago with $60 in his pocket. He opened a factory to make Reapers. In time, the company that made his Reapers became International Harvester. The company made farm equipment for many years. Today, the company is called Navistar International Transportation Company. It makes international brand tra trucks. Lydia Moss Bradley was an entrepreneur from Prior Peoria, Illinois. She made millions of dollars through investment in real estate. She changed unusable marshland into, into productive farmland. She also founded Bradley University in Pre Peoria in 1896. When he was 16, John D. Rockefeller worked as a clerk in a small produce company. In 1870, he had saved enough money to enter the oil refinery business. By 1881, his company, Standard Oil, controlled 90% of America's oil business. Before long, Rockefeller controlled almost all oil distribution in the United States. Eventually, he became the richest man in America. By today's standards, Rockefeller was even richer than Bill Gates of Microsoft is now. Early 20th Century Entrepreneurs Entrepreneurs were very important in the 20th century. For example, Henry Ford developed and produced the Model T automobile. He sold the Model T at a price many Americans could afford. Ford was a machinist from Detroit. He created one of the largest companies in the world. During the early part of the 20th century, Olive Ann, Ann Beach co-founded the Beach Aircraft Company with her husband. She managed the finances of the company and took part in major company decisions. <clears throat> she ran the business when her husband became ill in 1940. With Beach in charge, the company continued to be a leader in the aviation industry. In 1980, Beach's company merged with the Raytheon Company, which is still in business. In the 1920s, Clarence Birdseye developed packaged frozen foods. His frozen foods affected eating habits throughout the world. Madam C.J. Walker was the first African-American millionaire. Walker began making her own hair treatments in 1905 and sold them door-to-door -door with two other African-American women. In 1908, Walker opened Leela College, where she trained other women to use and sell her products. Later 20th Century Entrepreneurs During the later part of the 20th century, there were many opportunities for entrepreneurs. The biggest opportunity came in the 1990s when the internet use was beginning to grow. Many people started dot-com or internet-based businesses. However, many businesses were not well planned or researched. Investors lost millions of dollars. Pets.com is an example of a dot-com company that failed. The company had large amounts of funding and publicity. However, it still went out of business in only two years. Entrepreneurs Today More than 23.6 million small businesses add billions of dollars every year to the United States economy. Small business is very important in America. Small businesses employ more workers than all of the country's large companies combined. The graph on the next page shows that businesses with fewer than 20 employees account for most of the businesses in the United States. Small businesses are found throughout our, company, our economy. Companies such as Microsoft, Intel, and Apple all started as small businesses. These companies have changed the workplace by making computers available to the world. Other entrepreneurial companies include Southwest Airlines, Mrs. Fields Cookies, and Estee Lauder Cosmetics. These companies make life more pleasant for their customers. They also provide jobs to hundreds of thousands of workers. So now you're going to go back to today's lesson and complete the quiz there.